the previous video, we've created this map with points with varying sizes for population. In this video, we are going to create a print layout with a collapsed legend for the circles. This video is based on a tutorial by Dirk Voets, which has been modified for the summer course for IHG Delft on creating graphs, maps and animations. You can find the free tutorials on GIS OpenCourseWare. The link is provided in the description of this video. You can create a print layout by going to the project menu and choose new print layout. And um, let's give it a name, population map. Click OK and it will open a new window with the print layout where we can design our map. Let's first click right on the page to see the page properties. And here you can set the size orientation of the sheet, uh, which we keep as default. Here on the left side, you can find the buttons to add different things like the map, pictures, label, legend, scale bar, north arrow, shapes, HTML, attribute tables, or uh, plots. Let's add the map first. If you drag a box, it will add the map to the frame of the box. Let's uh, maximize this map to the full paper and you see that it will snap to the corners when we resize the rectangle. Next we will use the move item content button to pan and zoom the map within the box. So you can pan and with the scroll button you can zoom. If you use control scroll you can make smaller steps and uh, make sure that it completely fits within the box. With the scale value on the right, you can further fine tune this. Now let's add the title. The easy way is to drag a box completely from the left to the right edge of the sheet. Replace lorem ipsum, the dummy text, by the title of uh, the map, largest metropoles on earth. Let's uh, change the font. You can uh, scroll through this or type uh, directly the name of the font and there is a Calibri that we're going to use bold with a size of 24. Click OK and change horizontal alignment to center and vertical alignment to middle. Now let's add a legend. We'll drag a box here on the bottom left and um, it's already clear uh, that the ocean is the ocean and that the countries are the country, so we can remove those unnecessary legend items. But the most important is, uh, of course, the different sizes of the circles that represent the populated places. We see that this uh, middle class does not exist, so let's uh, type there empty. And we could have changed that with different uh, intervals, but somehow uh, this happened. But we'll improve the legend uh, later. We also add a space before the zero to better align the uh, text for the legend item. Then we remove the background so we can place it in the uh, ocean. And let's add a title. Let's call it Metropolitan Areas. And then also make uh, clear that this is population in millions by changing this uh, label of the layer to in millions of inhabitants. Now drag the legend to a uh, space that we have in the ocean. And this already uh, looks nice and could be uh, exported, uh, but we're still gonna do some uh, finishing touches. So let's uh, use the paper a little bit better by moving the map a bit down. So we're moving the map inside the map frame and move also the legend then a bit down. And we can also have the title a bit closer to the map. Now we'll improve the legend uh, using some uh, special settings here in the main QGIS uh, screen in the layer styling panel. So make sure that your populated places layer is again uh, the target layer. Go to the symbology tab and change from graduated to single symbol. You will lose the styling based on the size and it will just take the first, the smallest circle. Um, but we're gonna adjust this 
So change the size of the simple marker to uh, 2 and use a solid line as an outline. Then for the size we're going to use the uh, data defined override and we use the assistant and then we get this nice dialog where we can choose um, the source field which is still pop max but we can use an expression here that we used before to divide it by a million and click OK. Then we use the refresh button to adjust uh, the values to the range and we're going to change the size from 0 0.5 to 12 to get a nice scaling of the circles. For the scale method now we're going to use radius. Go back and click on marker. You find the button advanced and you choose data defined size legend. Change that to collapsed legend and you see here a much nicer representation of uh, the different sizes of the circles. We can further adjust that by uh, giving a human readable title instead of our expression. So we type here in millions of inhabitants. And uh, we also want to control these uh, classes, so we check the box for manual size classes. And the first one is 1 million, then the second one is 10 million, then we have 25 million, and the last circle is 40 million, which fits the whole range. Let's save the map and uh, go back to the layout view, and there we see that our legend has been automatically updated. It might be a little bug which causes that uh, this first class 0 to 10 is there, so we remove it. And uh, now our map is ready to be exported. We still need to do a few adjustments for the labels, the manual adjustments. So let's copy the scale so we have exactly the same scale here in the uh, map canvas. And then we can manually adjust the label and uh, go to the map canvas and refresh it to see where uh, they end up. It's always good to attribute the data source and to add the uh, author. So I'm going to add a label here, replace lorem ipsum with a data source, and this is natural earth, and then cartographer, and then you could put your name. Resize the box, and I'll use Calibri Light Italic 8. And then you can move it. It probably looks nice if you align it with uh, the bottom of the map. And now you can export it to a PDF. When you export it, you can uncheck the box to append georeference information because then uh, it will not be a geo PDF and it's just for printing. And you can uh, see the result in a PDF viewer looks a bit unbalanced because of the data source text. Uh, you might want to split that. Uh, the part goes to the left and the right of the map. So let's do that. Select them both and make sure that they are aligned. And that's our map. So save it again to a PDF. And that's the result.